In today's video, I make a fish and an enemy guard for an Ecotech MP10 wave maker. Now, I'm sure some of you are getting annoyed because I'm making so many of these. The problem is I keep getting asked to make a new one because there's so many different popular pumps on the market. So hopefully one of these times I make one that will actually benefit you and you could use in your tank. And I swear I do have projects unrelated to this that are coming up in the near future, some really interesting ones. Uh, so if you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and stay to the end so you can figure out where you can get one of these guards for yourself. Welcome back to IC Live. My name is Mark. So as I mentioned, today's video, I'm finally making this fish and enemy guard for the MP10 Ecotech Wavemaker. I've taken a crack at this pump several times in the past, and there's actually two other videos where I make some similar type guard covers for it, including a 45 degree angle and just one kind of standard one. But uh, I don't know why this was, but this one was challenging. I just couldn't figure out how to get this one to function the way I wanted. I kept making it too crazy looking. So I'll show you a few of the designs along the way and then ultimately the final one that I landed on, which you already saw in the beginning. We'll see the process and how I created that and get that bad boy printed and thrown onto the pump. All right, so here we go. I already had some models in Fusion 360 from some of the past designs, so I didn't have to remake the reference model. So I just started with the first pump design. And with this one, I went with a Voronoi mesh structure on the exterior and I tried to do a flow accelerator. Not sure if this would have any benefit, but ultimately I determined that this thing was too complex, too hard to print, and then it probably served little to no benefit considering it had a very little amount of surface area and a small area for the water to actually travel through the pump so it would just be sucking extra hard and probably wouldn't work very well moving on to the second attempt with this one i kind of went with uh, some inspiration from the mp10 wide flow design that you can see online i believe it's provided by bulk reef supply so here's the here's a picture of it with this one it kind of bubbles out to give more surface area so ultimately provide less sucking force on whatever does get attached to the pump guard whether that's a piece of coral like an anemone or that is a fish that just so happens to go too close um, you know once again I went a little too complex with this one and added the flow accelerator which probably also did nothing so I scrapped it I didn't like it and uh, went to move on to make it a little bit simpler and more functional so here is the third attempt with this one I did really like this design but there was a few major flaws it was not easy to print it had too much plastic because it had both an interior and exterior shell which was basically just a waste so i wanted to make this version simpler so once again kind of made some variations on this one for the final crack at it so here is the build creation of the final design so let's just take a second and watch it through its steps Overall, this one was the simplest of the designs, which in a lot of cases, simplicity is best. And I always fail to remember that, but I am finally happy with this design. So now let's go ahead and get it printed and see how it fits. <laughs> So here is the print and it turned out nearly flawless. This thing is really sweet. Now I did switch to this white PLA. Um, I'm using this just to kind of test out models now because I've been printing so much ABS, which is a total waste and it's harder to print. Now the final versions are actually printed in PETG, which is reef safe. And right now we're only gonna have two colors, black and purple. So this white right here will not be available because it will not function well in an aquarium all right so let's talk about this design it 
fits perfect. I mean, maybe I could make a tiny adjustment to make it fit a little bit more snug. Um, I guess the only overall thing is I did make the front of it where the water exits. I made it a little too large. I want it to be slightly tighter. And then I think the overall design could be a little bit smaller and more compact. But one of the best features of this is the small Voronoi structure that protects anemones and, and fish from entering the impeller zone. But then the water can flow around almost freely to the back of the pump where it has these uh, angular grates that are going to keep anything else from coming in the pump. But this will have a very low suction because it's furthest from the impeller. So I think this design is going to be really killer and by far the most functional fish and enemy guard design that you could put on an MP10. All right, so I gotta make some adjustments. Let's go ahead and get this final, final version printed. And here it is the finished version this one turned out great printed very well and if you notice the size it is just ever so slightly smaller than the last one because I wanted to tighten it up and make the fit a bit better now if you notice these the Voronoi pattern it's got the really small holes in the front to help kind of angle stuff toward the back and then once again the angular grating on the back that's going to allow water to flow more freely through this than any standard anemone guard that would go on an mp10 and this thing is so killer it looks really cool all right so here's how you get this thing on the original guard twist to the right a little counterintuitive because most people are used to twisting to the left to get the guard off this one slips right into place just like the original guard and then twist to the left and ultimately locks into place and it is now good to go. So super easy to get on and off and extremely functional. It looks cool. So if you'd like to get your hands on this guard, I've made it available on iclive.com. You can also message me and get the guard STL files at no cost. Now this MP10 is going to get back into a tank soon enough. Um, I'm currently in the process of moving. So ultimately all of my tanks are coming down. I am gonna have some videos related to that and then they're going up in hopefully what is a permanent location. So I am gonna be making some more tank related videos in the near future after the move. But as of right now, because I'm kind of stuck at my desk, that's why most of these videos are just me build something, print something, make it available. So thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you'd like me to make something unique for your tank. Um, I really do like making stuff for other reefers. I will see you live in the next video.